Maasai. A people whose culture brands almost every other Kenyan outside the borders. But despite this brand, the community did not have a single woman in parliament until 2013. This, courtesy of 43-year-old Paris Tobiko, from escaping early marriage to putting pressure on her father to see her through school to the baptism by fire, the nurturing of a political career. After winning nominations, I think that is when now those who really didn't want um, the, a, a, a lady uh, MP felt it's going to be a reality. I mean, she's won nominations. This is serious. We need to discuss this very seriously and they called meetings of elders and um, they said we are going to cast anybody who will vote for her and we are going to cast her so she will not survive even if we elect her. Paris Tobiko was daring the gods, only that there was another slight challenge, she was pregnant. Many people used it against my supporters. They were telling them, no, look, you the supporters of the lady, soon she's be at the maternity ward and then after that may take three months leave. Is this a person you expected to go and serve you in parliament? Hmm? Who will be taking time off to go and get the baby first? Yeah, so it was a challenge. But um, God saw me through. I was determined to play my normal role as a mother, as a wife, um, as a family person, but still not give up. With a big following backed by the youth and women, she triumphed and became the first woman from the Maasai community to join parliament. I, I realized you don't just go it alone. Most of the times you have um, to play in a team and uh, politically, particularly the, your political side of the divide. And so sometimes you have to uh, take that political um, uh, collective responsibility. Getting to parliament was the first step now she had to learn the ropes slowly. Parliament has its own challenges. And then all of a sudden you realize you now belong to everybody. The job is not very well defined. It might be defined in the constitution, but in our Kenyan uh, setup, it's not very defined. People believe you are the solution to everything, everything, whether it's academic, whether it is um, anything to do with health, anything to do with the roads, anything to do with um, even your problems with your spouse, um, they think you have the solution. You know, I have always wondered, and I've always wondered, if tomorrow you get into that parliament, you will just behave the same way like those ones who are there now. We are part of this Kenyan society. Um, we have not been picked from some island of some kind. So the behavior in there is the exact behavior of all Kenyans to begin with. Okay, so you cannot throw a stone when you live in a glass house. But it is to her people that she owes her being in parliament. Among her biggest concerns currently is the human wildlife conflict, a cause she has dedicated her time to, even being part of a team that formulated a policy on how residents can coexist with the animals. People have always lived with these animals. You go to you go to my home, it's like you're going through a park. You know, you'll find all, all sorts of animals. Yeah, so uh, I, I think the community now needs to know that they are going to benefit by, by conserving this uh, wildlife. We all long for that moment when we can sit and relax. What does she do with hers? When I have some little time, then I, I, I take my kids out maybe for a little swing and a little bouncing castle, maybe swimming, yeah, or go take care of our cows. Of course, cows, anytime. We agreed to meet her at her ranch where she often drops by to bond with her animals. There is that very personal relationship between you and your cows, you and, and of course the environment and the people. So it's, it's, it's not the same like if you let people do for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's like making a prayer or just being grateful. You know, showing God you're grateful uh, for the good things he has done, that you have what to take, you're not going to sleep hungry. 
and uh, you have enough for your children and also the cows are getting their share. And it is not just seeing the animals that gives her satisfaction. Perry Stobiko also comes ready to take some milk back to her family. So we are still as nomadic as you can see. Indeed. And there you have a sneak preview into the life of the woman who began her career as a district officer in 1994. Tobiko hopes that she will set a pace that other women in her community can emulate without having to undergo the challenges that she has endured. Anne Mawathe, Citizen Weekend.